But of course you can also get good results with the warrior, but normally the mage has the better options for arena. So let's do it. Starting with an epic. Ooh, guess we are playing the mage skill retreat. And uh, now definitely playing the Skywatch Windicator, of course. That's definitely the best choice. Hello Gaius Marius, welcome back to the stream. So next is also an epic. Pit line, Wisdom of Ancients and the Keeper of Whispers. So Pit line can be pretty strong. The Wisdom of Ancients is also an interesting card. In the right situation you can win um, easily games with that. But normally I like to go with the pit line. Ooh, look at that. Staff of Sparks, Dawn's Wrath and the Auron Sentry. Well, the staff is interesting, but that one can decide games alone. So let's pick that. Then we have a Camelon Sentinel, the Reachman Shaman and the Bardet Gar. Definitely going for the Camelon Sentinel. Shield Thought, Somerset Shield Mage and the Calm. Let's pick the Shield Mage. Execute, Soul Split. We're going here for the Execute. Although the Soul Split can be fun if we get some um, cards that work with that. Lightning Bolt, never a bad pick. Let's do that. Bench Tiger is also never a bad pick here. The other two cards are not that great. Not so decent. Can pick both, but the Sench Tiger, best choice. And here the Royal Sage. That one can also decide games alone. In the right situation with a lot of uh, creatures on your side. The Royal, so wonderful. Giving each creature a random keyword. Ooh, such a decent draft so far. Here's a javelin. Ooh. Okay, now you can decide which one to pick. That is nice. So I will just wait your opinions. I have a favorite, but I will not say it, of course. Ooh, Mirak. Yeah, I like the Mirak also. Yeah, but it's not, no, it's not 7 win for sure. But um, a strong deck so far. Ooh, also getting another Lightning Bolt. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, the Mirak is a bit slow, but even so, that one, oh boy. Will Fire Bloom, Arrow Storm, Hive Warrior. Well, I really like to have the Hive Defender, so not picking the Hive Warrior. Uh, either the Crew Fire Bloom or the Arrow Storm. So far, not getting too many small creatures here. But the Arrow Storm. Is often also just a waste. We already have the execute, so don't need the arrow storm. Camelon hero, Farset Nerid, Priest of the Moons. Hmm. Why not give us another Camelon Sentinel? We are really playing here control with all the late game threats: Dawn Threat, Mirak Dragonborn. Don't want to have the Camelon hero. Probably uh, we could pick the Priest of the Moons, also that is not too great, but it gives us two health and it's also a prophecy card. Hmm. Third you light, lightning bolts. I'm gonna pick a third one. And also an ice storm. Wow. Oh. Ice storm the Breton is also great. But if we are playing such a control deck. Yeah, we could just pick the Ice Storm. Elusive, also nice. A bit of extra card draw. <laughs> That's the third one. That is the third one. So we have the Orb, we have the Aurora and Sentry. And the Alkosh. That is wonderful in a in a faster deck. Mm. Okay, you can pick again. 
You have the vote. <laughs> yeah, just pick one. So we have a vote for the Alkosh. Uh, that is a fine early game part. And it can snowball a lot. The Sentry, um, that could help us to get into the late game. So giving us more health. The Orb is an interesting card. So we have two votes for the Sentry, three for the Alkosh. Yeah, the Orb is a bit too slow normally. And with all the other high cost cards. Uh, we could just play the Alkosh. Uh, Chapter Liam, thank you for the follow. Yes, we're just trying the Alkosh and in the worst case we can just play the cool fire bloom on it. Legionnaire, Zappa, bit of drain, that could be helpful. Navigator, we have currently eight action cards. Well, the chance to get an action card is pretty high. Ah, oh, we're going for the navigator. Yeah, you you love the Alkosh because if he can't stop early, he can totally go nuts. Yeah, that's right. Especially if you can draw two. Ah, another piercing javelin. Crazy Mosquito, thank you for the follow. We are picking another piercing javelin. But oh, so many destruction. That is insane. Crushing blow. Not so like that. So okay, we will just we are just going for the late game here. Then drop the Dragonborn and uh, YOLO. Not so sure about the deck, but we will see. Ten actions so far. Can't pick the ward here. Just pick the far side. Raven Ballista. A uh, bit of card draw. Let's pick the Highwayman. Mm, that is not too great. How many blue creatures do we have? Navigator, Camelon Sentinel, Farsight. A few, a few we have. We don't play that many creatures of the Siege Engine. Mm. That is not too great to pick here. Don't want to pick the Elixir. Well, let's go for the 4-drop. And here we are picking the Dark Harvester. Not. We are picking the Shaman. Another Ice Storm. Another Ice Storm. So many destruction. But you can't go wrong with destruction, right? The Imperial Might is of course giving us um, ongoing value. But a second Ice Storm. Wow. That is so huge. That is nearly constructed deck. We have two piercing javelins, three lightning bolts, then the Dawn Threat, Dragonborn, on Sench Tiger. Okay, we're just picking the Ice Storm. That will be pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Fifth Legion Trainer. Going to pick that probably. Also, the two moons would be interesting in the deck. We're just uh, killing everything. Firebolt, let's pick that. Cunning ally, shocking Vamasu. We have so many late game cards, so that's why we are not picking the Vamasu. Normally that's the better choice. And we don't have that many blue cards, but still. How many is it? Three, four, five, six, seven, ten, uh, eleven. Okay, so that is 13, 14. Maybe Cunning Ally will hit in 50%. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I will be silenced here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's a uh, board. Oh man, four legendaries. But the Mundo Stone is quite great. Ah. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, Mundus is the best choice. The problem is, of course, that we are not having that many creatures. 17. The iron would be nice with all the action cards.
You start to cry happy tears if you get one. Yeah, normally the Mundus is by far the strongest card if you look at them alone in the arena. But with 12 action cards so far, the iron could be very useful. We could play stuff like the Lightning Bolt again, Piercing Javelin, Ice Storm, we can play another Dance Wrath. And all the action cards also cost one less. So still you want to go for the stone. Still want to go for the stone, really. I mean, we could do that. Sure, we could do that. So more for the iron then. Okay, we're just picking the iron. Another creature. We don't have that many and we have so many action cards. So let's go. What a fun whole draft. So getting four legendaries. And we are nearly, nearly playing here constructed deck. We look at that deck list again. So many strong cards. And I will be pissed if we're not getting at least five wins. Should be doable with the deck, also it is a bit strange for Arena. Is ready for another a fine. <laughs> and he's hitting himself. Well, that was a decent finish. We did it, 7-1. Incredible deck. Hopefully the rewards will be incredible as well. Ooh, there you go. That's a legendary. And also premium common. And I don't have... I only have one wood orc headhunter. Oh, that is fine. Decent reward. Ooh, double premium. Haven't seen that. So double premium common and the legendary. Nice, nice.